a familiar sight for this team, who just keep on winning. Two out of three, one more to go. And that last game is almost here. They're in the playoff finals on Sunday at the O2. The players are raring to go, including captain and East Londoner Shanice. Some teams have, have nothing to lose when they play us because we're the team to beat and we have everything to lose, but we can't think of it like that. We just have to think of leaving everything on the floor, leaving everything on the line because it's the last game of the season. <laughs> the professional players come from all backgrounds and all ages. Well, not quite this young, but at only one year old, Joe's daughter Isla has to come along for the games and training. It's been a tough year. I've had a lot of help from my mom, um, but it's been tough, especially because I've um, breastfed her and still still am. So that's been a, a whole nother story you could get into trying to multitask and do it all. Do you think more widely there is enough support for new mums like yourself who are professional athletes? I think no, but I also think again, it's like coverage and shining a light on people and showing it can be done and it is possible. Women's basketball in Britain has come a long way, but there's much further for it to go, especially if it's going to attract new young talent from diverse backgrounds, both ethnically and economically. Because let's face it, if you don't see any role models, how do you know this is something you want to do? One of the faces you may recognize is Azania, who represented GB in the 2012 Olympics. Obviously, that's one of the biggest stages ever in my entire career. Um, sold out arenas, which is beautiful. And after the last crazy two years of not having any fans, it's so nice to finally get that feeling, um, to have your family and friends come. Uh, it's such a big deal. The London Lions take on Leicester Riders at home this weekend in front of thousands, hoping all their hard work will pay off. Frankie McCamley, BBC London.